do you want me to bring communion, or do you usually not do that during funerals? Just a um, uh, no, if you don't mind bringing it, that yeah. would be wonderful. Do you want to do the verse on the Alleluia? All right, sure. Let me pull that up here. I figure we'll probably just do verse one, but we can do. Are we do shooty, one? right? Uh, yeah. And that's the and the one. <clears throat> Which um. Your words, O oh Lord, are sweeter than wine. You have the words of everlasting life. You hit that right on the on the head. Do you have perfect pitch? I have relative pitch. Yeah, that's where I am too. So I can get I can get pretty close. Yeah. And I'm always usually a half step flat. Yeah. So if I really think about it, sometimes I can get there, but I have to. Look. That was you were just spot on. That was great. Well, it was in the same key as the last one. That's time. true. That is true. Okay. Um, yeah. My, one of my, uh, <laughs> the way I learned about this was, uh, we, had a, we had somebody who um, had perfect pitch. Uh-huh. And at choir, we had a, uh, an acapella song that we were supposed to do. And one of the performances is you always started it have pitch up so people don't go flat. Right. But she didn't tell the soloist who had perfect pitch. Oh no. So he did it in the original key which oh. then sounded flat the whole way. Oh. But you could just see his face like I don't know what to do. This isn't right. Oh my gosh. I, yeah, oh, I can't. I can't. That would be oh. Enjoying the red flashing there. I know. I, that's what I'm wondering about too. Okay. What does that mean? Hi. Right. Do you want to begin here with? in the waters of baptism and then we'll do the opening song after or okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah, so you can just come out and if you wanna say good morning or whatever yeah. and then just go ahead and, and uh, you know use the holy water and use your dialogue and then we'll do the opening song after that. Okay, great. Thank you. Um yeah that's not coming on. Well, at least I waited until after Easter. Shoot. <sighs> okay, well, it could be that the uh, bulb needs replacing. Evan said it stopped working at VCAT last night, and Jimmy sent an email. I did not check my email this morning, so. Crap. Well, okay. I can. We're on our own. <laughs> there's there's small enough group here. I mean, I could make a. I probably would miss the opening song, but I could make photocopies of everything else. Well, I mean, you could just run off a worship aid if you wanted to. That's online. If you could just grab that and then run off. And then you know, even if they share, you could just run off however many. Like ten of them. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry.
golden sword, so. Gavin, can you? Good morning. Um, before we begin, uh, I want to mention that uh, we've just discovered we are having a um, technical problem with our projector. So uh, we're going to begin in just a moment, but um, my colleague um, Karen Broering is actually back in the back right now frantically running off worship aids that we have uh, online and she will bring those out and pass them out um, as soon as we get them run off, and then you'll be able to follow off of those. Uh, we apologize for this, but uh, hopefully those will, those will be out here in just a moment, and they'll have everything and more that would be on the slides. So, uh, but we'll begin in just a few moments. Thank you.
Good morning. Good morning. And welcome the sisters of Amy and everyone else that's here. Thank you for, for coming and welcoming her. And we have the, did everyone get a copy of it? So take a look at Amy to uh, get those love juices going and why, why you're here. Okay. So please stand now. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. In the waters of baptism, Amy died with Christ and rose with him to new life. May she now share with him eternal glory. pray. God, strong and gentle, God of loving kindness, listen favorably to our prayers. Strengthen our belief that your son has risen from the dead and our hope that your servant, Amy, will also rise again. 
We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us be seated for the word of God. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all peoples. On this mountain, he will destroy the veil that veils all peoples, the web that is worn, woven over all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces the reproach of his people he will remove from the whole earth, for the Lord has spoken. On this day it will be said, Behold our God, to whom we looked to save us. This is the Lord for whom we looked. Let us rejoice and be glad that he has saved us. The word of the Lord. of his 
reading from Philippians. Brothers and sisters, our citizenship is in heaven, and from it we also await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. He will change our lowly body to conform with his glorified body by the power that enables him also to bring all things into subjection to himself. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew glory, glory to you lord. lord at that time jesus answered i give pra- i give praise to you father lord of heaven and earth for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned you have revealed them to the childlike yes father such has been your gracious will All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart and you will find rest for yourselves. For my soul is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. We've all probably had the experience of having a song on our mind and it just keeps going on and on and I'm not a singer so uh, but I was surprised that it kept coming to me and the song was 
once in love with Amy. Yeah. And I could old uh, Google and YouTube, I looked it up. And the re first verse is, once in love with Amy, always in love with Amy, ever and ever fascinating. And I looked up and uh, I knew all the singers that were listed there, so that shows how old uh, I am. <laughs> there was Elvis Presley singing it, Barry Manilow, uh, Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Mel Torme, Buddy Clark, wow. It was a very popular song. And Amy's a very popular young woman. Once in love with Amy, always in love with Amy, ever and ever fascinated by her. Once in love with Jesus, always in love with Jesus, fascinated by, by Jesus. Just a couple of days ago at the Easter Vigil, we lit that Easter candle symbolizing that Jesus is risen from the dead. He has overcome death, he has overcome darkness. And then we all lit a candle from that, symbolizing that we wanna be a light in the world. And then we renewed our baptismal vows and uh, the, the blessing of Amy just at the beginning, reminding us of her baptism in, in Christ. And at the end of renewal of our baptismal vows at the Easter Vigil and all the masses of Easter, we recited the Apostles' Creed as a symbol of our belief. And the second part of that Apostles' Creed is, I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. You can't get any better than that. I believe in the communion of saints, that's, that's why we're here. Uh, we may not be able to communicate with words with Amy, but we do that believe in communion, which is a deeper form of communication, to be united in what's beyond words, in the depths of, uh, of love. And as Mary Ellen was reading that first reading, it, um, it talks about uh, wiping away all our tears. Well. I, uh, I think God's going to be pretty busy wiping away all the tears because there are tears of sorrow, but there are tears of joy <laughs> that when we do meet one another in heaven, there'll be tears of joy, of tenderness, of love. <coughs> Excuse me. So I hope that God doesn't wipe away those tears too quickly because they're gonna keep coming to be together again. Uh, excuse me. <coughs> Another word that the church uses for heaven is a beatific vision seeing how God has loved us all this time and how people also have loved us. Uh, that's what heaven's about, being known in the depths of our dignity as children of God. I got a, 
a frog in my throat. <clears throat> it's interesting how we say goodbye. By, by the way, goodbye means God be with ye, which is a pretty good way to say God, goodbye, God be with ye. Uh, or the Spanish, my one word of Spanish that I know is adios, which means to God. Wow. God gave her sisters 60 years. And now you sisters are saying adios to God who gifted you for 60 years. That was unexpected that Amy would live that long. And so thank you. It's adios, thank you God for gifting us and we give her back to you. But not that we have lost her. If we were, are with God, then we haven't lost those who are with God. In New York, where I'm from, we, we don't say goodbye, we say see ya, see ya around, okay? <laughs> There's always this desire to see one another again. And that's what the beatific vision, beatific vision is, to see the person again. And it's amazing how many languages have that. Uh, Arrivederci, Auf Wiedersehen, um, Au Revoir, those are all the Germans, the French, the Italians, the Spanish, hasta la vista. There's always this desire to see again. And certainly our faith tells us that we can see one another again in all our glory. In that reading, uh, again, from the first reading about the, the veil will be lifted up and uh, and it will be, there will be a revelation. And I, um, I was thinking of that, the veil that we're, you're, you're all wearing as a mask. Come on in, uh, Molly. Here's the, uh, the cavalry has arrived. Okay, good. We were just saying uh, about our desire always to see one another again. So it's good to see you, Molly. <laughs> okay. Um, so there's always this desire to see one another again, and it's in our language and in, it's in our faith. But it, it says in that first reading about the the, the veil will be uh, lifted. And, you know, you all have a veil on, a, a mask, and it's, sometimes it's hard to see who that really is with the mask on. Uh, how wonderful it will be to have that veil totally lifted from us and that we can see God face to face and see all our loved ones face to face. And then we will see how God has looked upon us forever. God has always looked upon us with unconditional love. And that'll be the ultimate revelation. And for those who have heard me perhaps too often, there's a pun in that word, revelation. The first half is revel. We will revel in the revelation of wow. And the second part of that word is elation. That's a more subdued than revel. But there will be reveling and elation 
when we all gather as beloved daughters and children of God. And there will not be any discrimination about the so-called able-bodied and disabled. We will see each other as God has seen us. And God cannot not love us. God cannot not forgive us. And God loves us as his beloved daughters and sons. And all discrimination will be eliminated. Wow, what a burden that will be lifted from us. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, I will refresh you to let go of all the ways in which we feel burdened by perhaps our background, our failings, our image, our looks, whatever. Uh, so that's what we celebrate for 2,000 years. 2021 is now scrolled into that candle on the obituary notice and the uh, your your program there it, it gives um, Amy's days of birth December 3rd and her birth into new life December 31st 2020 a night nice neat 60 there but we're talking about eternity now, forever and ever. Once in love with Amy, always in love with Amy, ever and ever fascinated by her, ever and ever fascinated by sisters, ever and ever fascinated by Jesus, and Jesus being fascinated by her. The Newman Center is, is about as close as we could get to Ohio Stadium and the Buckeyes. <laughs> so, uh, but she's even more at home in heaven with her mother and father and her brother and two sisters. So let's be grateful for family. Let's be grateful for the Christian family. Let's be grateful for the human family. And let's be grateful for God who loves us. Amen. before you our love, our prayers, our hopes, our dreams.
Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For Amy, who God has called to eternal life and happiness in the company of our family members and all of the saints, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That like our brother Johnny and our sister Amy, all who experience physical or mental challenges will, al- will live lives full of their abilities and the love of their family and those whose lives they touch. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Amy's family, who mourn for her death, but rejoice in their memories and stories of her life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who cared for Amy, especially the staff at Main Street Terrace who were with Amy at the time of her death, May they continue to reflect the compassion and healing of God for all of those in their care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. We pause in silence for our own personal intentions. Gracious God, we ask that the prayers we speak aloud, those that we whisper in the recesses of our hearts, may be united to the great prayer of your Son, Jesus, in this Eucharist. Amen. Amen. Pray, my sisters and my brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to our gracious God. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Look favorably on our offerings, O Lord, so that your departed servant, Amy, may be taken up into glory with your son, in whose great mystery of love we are all united. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is is right right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. 
Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, in him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns into dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts you have brought, we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For in the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Proclaim your death. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we <clears throat> grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs and all the saints 
on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant, Amy, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. When from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when you will wipe away all our tears so that we may see you, our God, as you are, and we shall be like you for all ages and praise you without end through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. confidence, let us pray to the Father of us all, as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from all sin and needless anxiety as we await the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Jesus, you said to your disciples, peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us share that peace with one another.
This is Jesus, who is the resurrection and the life. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the, the word, and my soul, my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us in life everlasting.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that your servant Amy, for whom we have celebrated this Paschal Sacrament, may pass over to a dwelling place of light and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Merciful God, God of compassion, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. You are attentive to the prayers of the humble. <clears throat> Hear your people who cry out to you in their need and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the peace of God, which is beyond all understanding, Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. May she rest in peace. May her soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. May the love of God and the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ bless and console us and gently wipe away every tear from our eyes. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ, amen. Call you and you are mine. 